that's it. <laughs> so whenever you're trying to <laughs> talk about selecting a drug. <laughs> This is better. Well, it seems like you want to know how to apply for driving license in Germany. But before you watch this video, the first question you should be asking yourself is, do you even want to stay in Germany for a longer period of time? If your answer is yes, then this is the video for you. If no, frankly, then there is no point of investing so much money in one of the world's most expensive licenses. Please welcome to our channel. My name is Shubham. I, along with my wife, Jayati, we make Europe-related informative videos and travel content. In this video, we are going to talk about the German driving license procedure, the total cost involved, the duration required, and different situations that you might come across, for example, moving from one city to another while being in the middle of the process. So let's begin with it. So the first thing that you should be doing is to straightforwardly book an appointment at the nearest Führerscheinsteller, which is the driving license office. I'm considering you are already having a driving license or either you are making it from the scratch. In both the cases, you have to book an appointment on the city website where you also do the Anmeldung. You could book an appointment on the city website where you are specifically living in. It could be Frankfurt, Berlin or Stuttgart. Each city in Germany has its own driving license office and a website for it. Once you've booked the appointment, you would be receiving a confirmation email along with a list of documents that you have to prepare for this particular appointment. In most cases, you would be getting an appointment between 45 to 60 days and within this period, you could collect all the documents required for this. So let's talk about the list of documents required in order to convert your international driving license to German driving license. Well, let me quickly show you how to book an appointment on the city website. In this case, we would be talking about Frankfurt city. As you may see on the Frankfurt city website, there's a straightforward link to the driving license authority. You simply click on this tab and then again, click on this driving license authority. It would simply take you to the next page and again then you have to click on this journal driving license here you would see many options for example if you are from eu state then you have to choose the other option but but today we would be talking about transfer of a foreign driving license from all other countries and in this case we would simply click on this plus add this document which takes us to the next page and this is the list of documents that we specifically need for this appointment and firstly of course we need to have our passport and then of course a valid residence permit a biometric photo and then we need to have this translation of the foreign driving license that you can do on any of the websites for like 40 euros or you can go to this ADAC company but they roughly take like two to three weeks but if you are in a rush you can do it online that roughly charges 10 to 20 euros more you also have to take care that you go to a doctor for eye test which roughly costs about 10 to 20 euros and at the same time you also have to attend this boring lecture but a very useful one which is this first aid course and that is for four hours and that you could do on any of the weekends and, and during the appointment you have to pay this driving license office fees which is approximately 50 euros and when you click on the next and you can simply choose the date and time for your appointment whatever is suitable to you and yeah that's pretty much it that's how you book an appointment Usually it takes them four weeks to grant you the permission letter which states that you could actually drive with an instructor for the next 12 months. And at the same time, an online approval is sent to your driving school via the office. So please cross check with your driving school after the third week of the appointment. So let's talk about finding a driving school. So whenever you're looking for a driving school, just know that price range of the registration is different in different parts of Germany. For example, in Berlin, it would be much cheaper than in Frankfurt or Stuttgart. So there are a few important things that you need to remember while choosing a driving school. Uh, firstly, it should be near to your workplace or if you're a student, it should be near to your university. In this case, you could actually go for the early morning sessions or during your lunch time. Whenever you are signing up for a driving school, the only thing that you have to take care is whether or not they have free classes in the future. Whenever you're registering, you have to make sure that you ask the Fahrschule or the driving school people that, hey, hi, do you even have empty spots available in the near future? Because at times it's pretty crowded and when you register with them and you have the confirmation from this driving lessons office and you go to the school, they say that, oh, we are really sorry, all the slots are booked for next three or four months. So make sure you always keep that in mind and then only register with the driving school. Your school would also be giving you an app and then you could start studying for your theory exam from the beginning and it would actually help you with the road sense, with the civic sense while you're driving. And in general, it would make you more attentive to read the road signs and it would give you more confidence while you're driving. And you have to make sure and remember that the steering would not be on the right hand side. It seems a bit crazy in the beginning, but you will get used to it. And a pro tip would be you start studying for the theory exam even during this waiting period because you do not have to wait for the confirmation. You could just start studying since the beginning. So whenever the confirmation comes, you can directly start with your practical classes. In my opinion, go for one or two more practical classes because that would actually really help you a lot when you're renting the car or you're owning one because you'll have more confidence and it's always nicer to keep road safety as your first priority and ultimately 
your personal liability doesn't have to come into play. So let's talk about the total duration required to make the German driving license. So basically the first two months would be the waiting period in which you could study. You can prepare all the documents for this particular appointment. And after that, roughly it takes 15 days for you to give the theory exam. It is usually available between 15 to 30 days. And the next step would be to give the practical exam. But the practical exam is quite subjective because it totally depends on how your driving style is. One tip here would be to always keep an eye on the next practical exam date available by your driving school or for the theory exam because it's always nicer to keep a goal in your mind and then you achieve it. And if you're converting your international driving license to a German one, you could actually directly go for the practical exam once you have the confirmation. And that really depends on how good your driving skill is or how good your driving is. If you have already driven the car in Europe or in Germany in general, then you could actually directly appear for the exam and if you're lucky, you might pass in the first attempt. So let's talk about the situation where you're moving your city while being in the middle of the process. So usually, when you're moving to a new city, you again have to choose a driving school and then this first city's school would be sending all the documents to the second one. And at times, it happens that only one month is left in your 12 month period. So in this case, maybe you could just reapply from the beginning as that's faster. In my personal case, I was able to clear my theory exam in the first attempt. You have 1000 questions that you have to prepare and out of those 1000 questions, only 30 come in exam and the possible score is 85%. And after this, I think for my practical classes, I did, if I remember it correct, I did eight sessions of 45 minutes each and two sessions in my case were somewhat extra in order to be, get more confident and I was able to pass it in the first attempt as well. All thanks to because I was paying more attention to the road signs beforehand. Yes! If I can do it, you can do it too. If you like the content of this video and think other people would benefit from it, so don't forget to like, subscribe and share it. And in this digital era, this would be your way out with us.